Hi, I'm Phil, and today we're going to explore the uh, Bracio uh, arm robot. And uh, I've had this for about um, oh, four years uh, and only decided um, a couple of weeks ago to actually put it together. It was a kit. So let's have a look at it. We'll explore what it is. We might actually increase the font size so you can see that uh, a bit better and bring it across and it's a uh, desktop small robot arm and it has um, various mounts so it can be used for pick and place uh, or it can be a grabber it's uh, strong enough to hold a camera or it could do a solar panel tracking uh, so you can see the mounts the various mounts that are there and the controller that comes with the kit is the standard Arduino Uno R3. And it comes with a, uh, a shield that connects to the six servos. So you can see those servos here. They're operating at five volts. And um, they're uh, all connected uh, to the shield here. So uh, the manufacturer of the Arduino is, um, or the manufacturer of the uh, Uno is um, Arduino. Uh, but I'm um, going to put an alternative uh, controller from Seed Studio, which is identical in its performance to the Uno R3, but it has Grove connections on top. And I'm going to expand uh, the number of sensors and actuators using Grove components. So we'll have a look at that later on. And uh, we might actually look at the uh, number of axes. We've got six axes. The uh, axis number one on the base uh, rotates it from left to right. Then um, axis two is for the lower arm, and that moves uh, everything up and down. Axis three in the upper arm moves it forward and backwards and the next uh, three are for the risk and um, they uh, move the risks in different directions and the control of all that is with the servo motors so cost wise it um, i got it for 219 dollars uh, directly from arduino and it was a black friday sale but um, it's actually quite expensive if you buy that um, locally. So you can see you can pay up to uh, $490 for this, although it's um, now a little bit obsolete. Okay, so when you purchase it and unbox it, it comes in a kit like this, and you have to assemble it. So some of the overall specs, uh, it's got a, a maximum operating distance of... 80 centimetres, so you have to give it enough um, space around the desktop, uh, and it um, can pick up a maximum weight at 32 centimetres of 150 grams, which is not that much, uh, so okay for small Lego pieces. Okay, so uh, we might um, have a look at the um, what's in the kit. So the various parts, you get 21 parts, uh, and you have to put all that together. Software-wise, I'm using the Arduino IDE and programming in C++ using the uh, Bracio robot um, library. And there are plenty of um, uh, examples that you can uh, start off with. So uh, those libraries include the Bracio and Servo libraries, and they control control all of the um, servo motors. So let's have a look at the projects that I've um, uh, started. I'm still doing the commissioning, but the, I think the most interesting one, you'll see this in a demonstration very shortly. We might close all this down and look at it um, step by step. So... Um, the objective is to go through a series of movements uh, to control all of those um, axes and demonstrate the movements of the um, 
um, robot. And also to um, print out the status of which motor is currently moving. And we're going to use the, um, we're actually, instead of the Arduino, we're going to use the Lotus. So, but it's uh, compatible with that. Software-wise, we might go across in a minute and have a look at that, but there's our two libraries. And the variables that we use are, are for the uh, servo movements. And um, I've also uh, put um, additional parameters for the, um, the initial positions of the uh, motors. That's motors one for the base right through to motor six. For the road to, uh, for closing the uh, gripper. Okay, so we might have a look at that now. Then you can have a, a demonstration of what it looks like. Okay, so we'll bring up the um, Arduino, and here it is here. So under the Arduino IDE, this is the code, and I've modified this. So it was originally written um, nine years ago, uh, and I've uh, modified it um, today. So you can see the variables are all been set up here. I've added the additional parameters for the motors and I've added the uh, serial port monitoring. And that happens in the uh, setup. Other than that, we initiate the uh, Bracio and then we go into a loop. Uh, in the loop, we're just going through all the movement numbers. So we have a um, position for or a value for each of the motors. So there's uh, motor number one, our starting position, and uh, movement number two, uh, we're going to um, only move motor two. And uh, there are the parameters. So you can see there between one and two, only two has changed by for an extra 45 degrees. Then we uh, move on uh, to uh, number three, and um, number four, number five, and number six. And there's the routine for printing the status on the serial port of the, um, of the uh, angles for the uh, servo. Okay, so uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll have a look at a demo. But before we do that, I'll give you the references. So we'll go back to our uh, mind map and um, got lots of projects to uh, complete on on this so um here are the um references uh plenty of um help from uh the uh, manufacturer and um you could get it from other companies uh if it's still available today okay so uh, we might leave it at that and um have a look at my desktop demonstration. Here we have the um, Brachio um, robot, and it has six degrees of freedom with um, six motors. So we can actually go and have a look at them all. On the base, for rotating in the vertical axis, we've got motor one. Then we've got motor two uh, for the lower arm. We've got motor three, there's motor four, motor five and motor six for the risk and it's all driven by a arduino computer so it originally uh, came in a kit uh, using the um, uno r3 and i've replaced that on this version with a, a similar processor but it has some um, uh, grove ports on top but it um, is Arduino um, compatible, and it also the uh, headers are compatible. So all of that goes on the hardware, including the servo uh, driver shield. So we, we actually look at it. We've got it here, and I've got three of the Grove connections uh, to um, potentiometers. So we've got three potentiometers, and we've got additional Grove modules that will be added later on and uh, we might have a, a demonstration of it so we might switch it on so we'll go over here plug in the power and see what happens so here's our um, 
robot in demonstration moving around. You might not be able to see it, but also uh, it does control the um, the actual risk itself. And that's the uh, Brachio um, robot.